Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel Man of Steel Movie Masters. We're looking today at General Zod. As with Superman, General Zod features a display base, does come packaged in the same packaging as well as Superman, which I gotta say is really awesome packaging. Won't spend a lot of time on that. On the back of the package, however, the other figures that make up Series 1 of Movie Masters, we have Superman, Jor-El, and General Zod. Uh, look for more Movie Masters deluxe figures and more, I guess coming soon from the good folks at Mattel. Warning, small parts may be generated. Not recommended for ages 0 to 3. That's really it. It doesn't give any sort of read-up um, specific to General Zod, but I guess it's because they're using the same packaging for all three figures. Uh, what I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this open up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the villain of Man of Steel, General Zod. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. The display base that comes with General Zod is similar enough, if I just reach off camera here, similar enough to what we got with uh, Superman. Obviously a different crest featuring the front there, but it looks like it's the same textured finish. They've just painted over the exact same, my guess is the exact same display base. They just changed out the, the crest. I like that at least we get a black version, a darker Zod inspired display base and not just another Superman S display base. So, moving that out of the way. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, and it's still something that I constantly get reminded of every time I have the Superman figure displayed, is these display bases would have easily worked better if they were just a little bit wider. Um, the problem with these figures is, as you can see, General Zod has two uh, peg holes on the bottom. When you peg him into place, like so. Because the peg is off to the, a little over than obviously right on the edge, you feel like you don't get enough clearing on the actual figure. And as you can see, he is on his display base, but he is tend to wanting to lean off the side. I found that more um, apparent when it came to the Superman, where Superman's leg just started falling off his display base. Um, even if they had stretched the base to about there and actually had it where, um, you know, it would allot for the, the stance of the figure, um, I think it would have worked a little bit better. Um, I almost feel as if these bases are just a little too small. A small gripe, though. A very small gripe. I suppose in, in the way of a larger gripe, uh, it's a nice enough figure, but it, it does fall into that same issue I had with Superman, and I think it's a little more apparent here with Zod. His face is so large versus the rest of his body. Um, I think his body is done well, and it looks like it's utilizing very similar aspects, probably a lot of components than what Superman had, but he does feature a very large, large head. Uh, the face itself... As it personally stands right now, it's really hard to distinguish whether this is a fairly accurate um, sculpt to General Zod in the movie. Um, we've only gotten you know fragments here and there from the trailer. I would say, on a face-wise, it's not bad. Although I think I think General Zod actually had a little bit of facial hair down below, if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, because these are early release figures prior to the movie coming out, we're not quite sure in which scene, at least I'm not certain which scene yet, he's really utilizing this, this suit. Um, earlier trailers indicate that he has more of an armor setup, very similar to what, we got, what we're getting with Jor-El, um, but again, much probably more of a Kryptonian armor, whereas this just looks like his Kryptonian body suit. But definitely that head... That head looks way too big. Way, way too big. Um, I feel like as if I've, I've got a little bit of an imperfection on the face. The one side doesn't look too bad, but the other side of the face looks like he's been standing really, really close to the sun. Or this is the side of his window on the Kryptonian ship to Earth that got more of the exposure to sun. It's a little more red. 
It's a little more red. But I can't comment too much on the actual um, on the actual sculpt. Um, whether that looks more like General Zod or it doesn't look like General Zod, I guess we'll be a better judge after we've seen the movie. The suit itself is very basic in the fact that it's utilizing, from what I can tell, one or two colors. We've got the matter black, almost like a dark, dark gray occupying most of the body. And then we've got the darker uh, black, almost like a panel lining, um, a little more of a sheen as well, uh, utilizing all the details on the armor. Perhaps there might be a, a, a third color right around his, the details around his, his wrists there. And then of course, oh, he's got a little bit of gold going on in his belt there. Um, as a comparison, obviously for comparison purposes, uh, here we have him next to Superman. And initially I thought Superman's head looked really, really big, but the more I look at it now, the more I think the the head on Superman isn't as bad as that of General Zod. Zod's head is just huge. Now I've got Superman's head down. Um, perhaps I don't know. Maybe if you angle Zod's head down, it will help. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it still looks it still looks big. It still looks big. Oh, but also as a side note, um, I'm all, I've noticed. An ongoing issue with my Superman figure is the fact that to have his legs straight, I find his cape really starts becoming a hindrance. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I still really like the Superman figure quite a bit. General Zod, I don't think I've warmed up to just as as yet. I think perhaps I have to see the movie first to gauge a proper opinion of the figure. I can tell you though, from what I've seen in the trailer, I'm almost surprised if we do eventually get a more armored up Zod that he wasn't of the first release wave figures and not necessarily of later released. Just because more of what we see in the trailers so far indicate more of an armored Zod and less necessarily of this. Whether this be once he gets to Earth, this armor comes off and he's sporting this most of the time, or if this is more on, on um, Krypton necessarily. Who's to necessarily say? Um, in the way of his articulation, he would have the same as Superman. His head rotates back and forth. It uh, doesn't have the issue that my Superman had. And from what I'm hearing, it wasn't across the board for all figures. But his head does move up and down, which is good. Uh, his arms do rotate out, uh, back and forth, back and forth. A rotation in the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotation in the hand. He has a rotation in the waist. Now, with Superman... I think because he has the cape and he has other stuff going on, the fact that he doesn't have a mid-torso crunch is almost is almost expected. You can see why they wouldn't have done it. However, when you get to General Zaw, he is using the same body, but because he doesn't have anything like a cape or anything breaking up this body, you really start seeing the fact that, yes, an upper torso bend would have been nice. Just something that you can get some movement other than just swiveling back and forth on the waist. Uh, his legs go forward and back, out. Your rotation in the bicep, rotation in the bicep. That's his thigh. A rotation in his thigh is a bend at the knee, and finally a hinged foot. He, uh, he's, a, he's a hard to gauge again figure. He's not bad, but clearly his biggest problem no pun intended, is clearly his head. His head, I feel, is way too large. Jor-El, I haven't reviewed yet. I'm going to be reviewing him next. I feel as if he's probably going to be an easier to look at figure because he's going to have armor probably offsetting his large head. Because Zod doesn't rely on a cape, doesn't rely on armor, you see the fact that his head being so big as more of an issue than what at least what I've acknowledged that with uh, with Superman. Is Zod worth picking up? I feel as if we might get more Zods. Maybe we might get an armored up Zod. So I would say maybe you might want to hold off getting this guy just yet. Certainly when the movie hits, we're probably going to be seeing a lot more Superman toys hitting shelves. As it stands right now, the figure isn't bad. It could have, I felt like it could have been better. I think looking at him more so now, I'm appreciating the Superman figure a lot more. I thought his head was big, but you know what? The more I look at it, it's actually not that bad. Zod, on the other hand, feel like his head is just a little too big. 
For that reason, I'm going to give General Zod, I'm going to give him only a 7. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel Man of Steel Movie Master figures. We're looking today at General Zod. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.